one woman's story that might be straight out of the TV series Dirty John. Her new boyfriend got her trust and then got her to sign on the dotted line for his business deals. But his love later turned violent. And after they split up, she was the one left owing, owing tens of thousands of dollars. Now, for her own safety, we actually can't identify her. So instead, this morning, we're calling her Rachel, and she's joining us on the phone to tell her story. We also have financial planning expert Helen Baker with us with advice on how to avoid becoming a victim of financial abuse. Ladies, thanks for joining us. Good to have you here. Okay. Rachel, I'd like to start to you, with you first. Um, how did you end up in this situation? It does seem like a case of, of, of that, of that miniseries, Dirty John. W what happened? How did you fall for this man? Well, I just met this guy and we really got on really well. Um, in the first year, it was like a fairy tale romance. It was always good. And then it started sort of to go downhill. Um, I believed that we had a real relationship and believed everything what he said. And by the time I realised what was going on, I was in way over my head. Well, what were the red flags, Rachel? Um, didn't start happening till about in two years. And it was the bit where, well, OK, how about we start paying this off? You know, pay it off. And no, it's in your name. You can pay it. Mm. It was just certain things. It's just the way he acted how things sort of changed, how things shifted. How, it was just, yeah. How, what were the sort of uh, techniques or tricks that he used to sort of get money out of you or get you to sign up to agreements or whatever in your name instead of his? In retrospect, when you look back, were there little sort of, you know, were, were there things he used? Well, there was, at the time it was, you know, like, I love you and this and that, and can you just do this for me? I can't have anything in my name or I can't put it in my name or I've got something happening legally and I can't do this and I can't do that. And by then, he just totally loved on me. And it was like, yeah, you know, I'll do anything, for, mainly did anything for him, and it would be um, like, you know, this is ours, this will be ours, you will get money from this, we will make this, we will make that. But in the end, it was all his. How much were you left owing? Um, all up, there's about 80000 There's about wow. 60000 on, 60, on paper and about 20000 that was my own personal stuff that he actually took. That is incredible. And on top yep. of that, he got violent with you, is that right? Yes, he did. Yes. Did you want to leave really? then? Yeah, each time I tried, he would um, promise that it would never happen again. Yeah. And would, you know, say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I'll get, I'll get help, I'll get help. And I really believed him. He was that convincing. I truly believed this man. Oh, he was he, he, could look his, he could look you straight in the eye, and you would believe what he said. Oh, oh, so he was financially how, how manipulating charming. you, emotionally abusing you. And yeah. how bad did that physical violence get for you, Rachel? Um, physical violence got so bad. It got really bad. Um... I'm now in counselling for it. It's just unbelievable. Like, I, you can't explain it. You can't explain it. Like, it got to the point where sometimes I it, it just happen all weekend. Like, for two days, I would just have just be beaten. Jeez. Thank God you're okay it's now, so now and you're out of this yep. situation. Yeah. Um, we'd like yep. to bring Helen in now, mm. um, who's got some great advice on how to avoid this sort of thing. Um, are there a lot of stories like this? Do you find that a lot of women are being manipulated in this way? Unfortunately, yes, but the degree to how bad things get, it's amazing where people think, oh, it's only a small thing, so it's subtle. They don't consider it to be financial abuse and then these really extreme cases where it ties in with a lot of other abuse at the same time. Does it go the other way as well? Um, women manipulating men for both sexes equally? Well, I don't know about equally, but I, it's because it's about power, right? It's mm. not really about money. It's about mm. power. Yeah. So that's where there's questions about it. Not, it does happen for men. You yeah. hear about it, but I don't hear as much as I hear about the women. It, it used to be called STD, sexually transmitted, transmitted debt. debt. Yeah. Um, so w what should a woman, woman know when this is happening? H how do you... Uh, convey a message. Yeah, I think you've got to look for the signs. So there's three kind of ways that it can come out. One is where they're restricting your access to money, whether it's in a bank account or a credit card. 
Another way is that independence, so it can be around not allowing you to work or mm. making you study or giving you so much to do that you just don't have time to go to work. And then the third one is that manipulation of can you put this in your name or mm. that's you take care of that and withholding information. So as soon as you start to see any of those signs, you want to make sure you've got your independence and you've got some ideas around all of but, that. But control. if someone says, oh, look, it'll just be better for us if you put this in your name, and this is a person you're in a relationship with and you're trusting them, mm. what do you do? You know, do you go and say to someone else, look, my partner's asked me to do this. Is there someone you could ask? Is this a good idea? Yeah, I think that's the hard part. So you can always talk to somebody like, um, you know, we also know the song RESPCT. So maybe have a talk to 1800 Respect and Lifeline and Salvos and um, find out whether or not you're one of those people that could be in that category or whether you're safe. If, if someone that in that last sort of category, which seems to be what uh, Rachel's gone through, if, if someone has, you know, taken debt and put it in your name, taken your assets, put it in their name, and suddenly you're thousands of dollars in the hole, which can destroy a person. Um, is, there, is there any legal recourse? Is there, is, there, is there any law that says if you sign up to some sort of debt or contract under duress that it can be rendered null and void? So it's probably a legal question, but if you look back to the relationships where if, if you've been with somebody for more than two years, then you're entitled to make a claim possibly on each other's assets. So that would mean it's borne by both people. Mm, right. But it's about how do you get that money back. If the other person really has nothing then and it's all in your name, it's pretty it's on your credit rating as far as I understand it. I want to go back yeah. to Rachel now on the yeah. phone. Rachel, um, uh, how did you get out of the relationship and how are you going about paying off this extraordinary pile of debt you've been left with? Well, I finally got out of the relationship. I had to... <clears throat> it took a while. It took over a year. I escaped and he found me and I kept on going back because it was just easier because he would just like create havoc with all my family um, and then in the end he just gave up. He's now found what you call another person to do this to and um, at the moment I have to go back up. There's nothing I can do. Um, I'm on Centrelink, I can't work, I'm in counselling, I have trouble some days even going outside. And this has been now two years. Two, two years, yeah. What advice, um, what advice would you have for other women who perhaps fall head over heels with a, oh, with a fella and might find themselves in this situation? What would you like to say to them? Just really, really, like, like as much as they tell you that they love you and that you're this and you're that, just, just, just feel with your gut. Get, get mm. that gut feeling and, and really don't think with your head or your heart. Just think if something you doesn't feel right, it's not right. Rachel, thank you so much. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing your story. You've been so brave this That's morning, okay. and um, I'm, I'm sure it helped a lot of people out there. Helen's website, so. as well, is on your own two feet .com .au. Helen Baker and Rachel, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Well in a big change of pace coming up, how Harrison Ford has gone wild in his latest role and his plans to bring Indiana Jones back. We're catching up with him, Landis, after the break.